Hey guys, so today we are headed back to the Blue Lagoon in Huntsville, Texas to celebrate Father's Day. Today is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be on Lagoon number two. There's two different lagoons. If you watched our first video, we are on Lagoon number one. If you haven't watched it, then check it out because it was such an awesome day. So today I'm going to try and compare and contrast the two lagoons and also I'm going to try and answer some of y'all's questions because I was flooded with questions about this place. I've had people heading out there. I mean, the response has been amazing. So look forward to everything we're going to show you today. I'm going to try and show you a little bit more on the campsites, maybe the snow cone place, and I'll let you check out Lagoon number two with us. So happy Father's Day. Have a great hey, Tommy girl, do you know where we're going today? Yeah, it was the lagoon. The blue lagoon? Penny, where are we going today? Yeah. The blue lagoon. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Can you say happy Father's Day? Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day! All right, guys, so we are back at the Blue Lagoon. We are in Lagoon number two this time. As you can see, it's just a little bit different. It's still pretty. We're here a little bit earlier in the day, so right now the sun isn't out as much, so you're not seeing that electric blue water, but it's still very see-through. Actually, a turtle just dove in right underneath me. It scared me to death, but the water clarity is still very clear. It's still beautiful. We're gonna try out a different campsite today. As I said before, it's extremely rocky, so please bring your water shoes or some kind of shoes to protect your feet when you're out here. So, I mean, look at it. It's still so gorgeous. And I will try and get some pictures as the sun goes up. Like I said, we're here pretty early today. It's about nine o'clock. So the sun is just not hitting the water yet to show you just how blue it is, but it's still beautiful. Look, there's in this one, there's that little sandbar right there. So I guess you could swim out there. That looks fun. And the other lagoon, I felt like it was looking a little bit deeper. So today we're gonna explore this and we'll show you what this one is like and tell you basically which ones that we like better. So we're gonna head on over to our campsite today. So these are just a few more views of the lagoon number two. I do like how it has this little beach entry. That seems nice. You can just walk on down and get in your wading pool of the part of your blue lagoon. So anyways, you can see there's already some people out there scuba diving. They do scuba diving lessons here. And so the scuba divers get first dibs on coming out here. So if you are a certified scuba diver, you don't have to scuba dive, but if you bring your scuba card with you, your certification card, you can bank a reservation ahead of time and then you're guaranteed your campsite. If you don't have a scuba certification card, then you are left to fend for yourself and it's first come first serve basis. So this is campsite number one on Blue Lagoon number two. So as you can see, they give you a covered spot, little pavilion with a campsite. Um, they've given you a picnic table. They, a lot of them I've seen, they have these little charcoal grills. So if you wanted to grill out hamburgers or make hot dogs, um, that's very convenient. They also leave you a trash bag so you can throw away all your trash before you leave and they have a trash service where you can take it up to the front and they'll come pick it up. Um, so this is just a little bit of an overview. You can see you're, it's very private. You can pull your car up. Here's another campsite right here. The ones that we were at before weren't as close so that's how close they get all right, together. guys, so this is Blue Lagoon number two. Um, the first time we came, we were on lagoon number one. So as you can see, this just has a little bit different feel. Looks almost a little bit more shallow. So I'm sure the scuba diving's really well over here. 
does really well. So as you can see, there's scuba divers right in front of me, but look how beautiful this is. The water is so clear. It's just completely see-through. Like you can see the bottom perfectly and it stretches out so far that way. We're here a little bit earlier today. So the water is not as bright green just because the sun isn't hitting it yet but it's just so pretty. We're gonna have the best day. We're gonna celebrate Father's Day here. We're gonna camp out. We're gonna make some hot dogs and grill out. So I'm gonna head to our campsite. Okay, as you can see, the sun is coming out. The water's starting to get that pretty emerald green, blue color. And it's just so calm right now. I can't wait to get down into the water. So this uh, lagoon too is just a little bit different. It doesn't seem as rocky and so high up as the first lagoon. So if you've got little kids, maybe lagoon two would be better for you because it's more of like beach entries. So um, we are celebrating a lot today. We've got Father's Day, the friends we came with, it's their anniversary, and then we've got a birthday tomorrow. So I'm having a Bloody Mary out here on the lagoon too. So to answer some of you guys' questions, people are asking me if you can camp overnight here. And the girl said that you can camp here on the weekend. So you can camp Friday and Saturday night only if you have a scuba certification. So you have to have a scuba certification. Someone in your group has to have one and you have to pay for each day that you're here. So if you wanted to spend the night for one night and check out the next morning by eight o'clock, you'd only pay for one day. If you wanted to stay for the whole week and you would pay for those two days and then just be gone um, Sunday morning. So you have to call and reserve that in advance. So uh, make sure to do that if you wanna spend the night. You don't have to have a scuba certification just to come swimming here. However, it is first come first serve. So if you, are looking to make a reservation just someone in your party has to have a scuba certification and if you don't you're risking driving all the way out here and then not being able to swim for the day so try and find someone with the scuba certification so that you can make sure to guarantee your spot and call far in advance to get the campsite you want you can come out here and drive around and look at which campsite you like and that way um, you're insured to get the one that you like for the day. So as you can see, we still have all this pretty greenery surrounding the lagoon. The sun is starting to come out and I think it's just gonna look prettier and prettier as the days go, as the day goes by. So this is lagoon number two. Hey guys, so I would say that overall, we made it home from lagoon number two. We like lagoon number one better after spending the day there. It's just a little bit clearer in color and I just thought it was deeper. I saw fish in lagoon number two. I saw fish and turtles. So if that's what you're out for, if you're for the wildlife, then you're gonna love lagoon number two. Mommy had a little bit too much to drink. I passed out on the way home from, ah, on the way home from the lagoon. I. I overdid it today. It was Father's Day and I just had a little bit too much fun. So we made it home. It's pouring down rain. It's raining cats and dogs. It's lightning and thundering. We had to leave anyways. So we still had fun. Our neighbors that went with us, they had a great time too. They thought the color was awesome. So if you have a chance, go check it out. I would say reserve number one because I like number two, but I like number one. And if you're driving all the way out there, I would say, please do number one. That's my favorite. The water was a little bit clearer. This water was still pretty. And we saw fish and we saw a turtle. So if you want to see wildlife, I guess go to number two. But um, we have still had fun. Mommy needs to take a little bit of a nap. I just keep seeing the lightning going off. And mommy, mommy's had too good of a time. I had too many Bloody Marys, too many mimosas, and I had too good a time on Father's Day. So please leave your comments in the comments section and I will try and get back to you. We had an awesome time and we hope you do too.